Hello and good afternoon. This is Manashvi and on behalf of IBIDS team, I would like to welcome you all to our IBIDS e-learning session organized by Foropta. The IBIDS e-learning session is an interactive program where we discuss optometric topics. And today we have Mr. who is going to talk about disposable contact lenses with us today. So uh, before we, like, we begin, I'd like to give us all a brief introduction to Mr. Ankit. So Mr. Ankit has graduated from the Hari Jyot College of Optometry in 2011 and holds a Master in Optometry from Veer Narmad South Gujarat University. He was also awarded gold medal by the government of Gujarat in 2014. He has been working as assistant professor at Veer Narmad South Gujarat University, Surat, since 2015. He is serving as external examiner in eight universities across India. And he also works as consulting optometrist at IVO Laser Vision, Keshvi Eye Hospital, KP Shangvi Eye Hospital, Surat. He also owns a top view optical Surat and Sri Sainath optical Navsari. He has achieved prestigious fellowship of the International Association of Contact Lens Educators, Australia, and fellowships of the Association of School and Colleges of Optometry, India. Mr. Ankit is currently pursuing PhD in optometry from VNSGU Surat. He has experience in teaching core optometry subjects such as contact lens and dispensing optics of nine years. He has been speaker for many national conferences and he has also presented several papers in national and international conferences. He has keen interest in optometry education as well as in research and guides optometry students in several projects. On behalf of IBIDS and our audience, I'd like to welcome you, sir. Yeah, so good afternoon, everyone. Hope you all are safe and quarantined at home in this COVID situation. I would like to thank the team of IBID and Mr. Satyam Jha for all the coordinations from the beginning. And also Manasvi for such a, a brief introduction of mine. I'm also thankful to all the attendees who have taken your precious time and are uh, gathered here uh, for such a uh, what we call a good session of disposable contact lens. The reason why I have taken this topic is like once the lockdown will over and once we all join our OPDs or optical shops, the first and foremost thing that we will do is we will dispense all the contact lenses. And believe me, the reason why I have taken the very basic topic is because 90% of today's attendees will be dispensing your regular contact lenses. Very few will be dispensing or prescribing specialty contact lenses. So the first and foremost thing that we should learn is how to penetrate more and more disposable contact lenses in market. Because this is the, uh, what we call the most important bucket of our uh, shop or clinic where we can increase our penetration and we can increase the uh, monetary benefits in, uh, in financial year. So thanks everyone so i shall be starting the presentation so as you all know we have all types of lenses in market like we have dailies we have bi-weeklies we have monthlies and conventionals so all are available in market but the question arises in our mind that obviously it is always in the mind of patients also like which one is a better option among all which contact lens we want to provide to our customers or which contact lens the customer wants from their uh, point of view or which lenses will make the things more easier for us as well as for the patients and which is the most convenient one like in terms of uh, reducing chair time or in uh, reducing all the complications so these all the basic questions that always Hello. come in mind in the practitioner as well as in the patient Hello. yeah so uh, I think I have uh, discussed this slide. So the basic question arises in the patients and in our, as a practitioner's mind is which is better option to the uh, customer, uh, uh, which is more easier for us to dispense and for them to wear and which is the most convenient in terms of like, uh, which reduce the chair time and which is more comfortable for all. So the basic learning objectives of today's sessions are like to understand the degree and potential consequences of non-compliance in contact lens wearer. So this is the first most important factor which play a major role 
uh, while we sail or we dispense the contact lens. So this we have to understand. The second is we have to understand patient's behavior and how it influences in terms of contact lens. Again, to highlight strategies to enhance contact lens wear in market or the penetration in market. So we like how we can develop the uh, strategies, various strategies for various individuals so that we can penetrate more and more into the market in terms of contact lens. So these are few uh, learning objectives where we can uh, uh, think of. So um, like I have recently seen the recent uh, statistics where it has been saying that uh, globally 30% of patients are drop out of contact lenses every single year. So it is not a less ratio. So 30% is quite big ratio. And this is all of soft contact lenses. So why is this? So why is this large increase in the contact lens dropout? So there are certain uh, reasons of dropouts. Like it can be the dry eye. Uh, like the facts are like if you are using more of screens, uh, like your iPads, your uh, iPhones, your, uh, uh, your Kindles. So these all really... Hello. So these all will definitely give rise to certain dry eyes. And as you all can even feel that in lockdown, we all are completely uh, dependent on the digital gadgets. We all are actually uh, learning on web portals, webinars, and Zooms. So we all are continuously watching your screen. So this will give rise to dryness. And the dryness is the major factor of dropouts in contact lens wear. The second can be like, in the initial stages, the contact lens were sold or purchased that were conventional. So a single pair of contact lens that was sold was worn by the patient until they become uncomfortable or torn or it lost. So this will give rise to certain contact lens related complications. So this is again a, a major reason of dropout. Another can be the lifestyle of the patient which can give an adverse response. And that again leads to discontinuation or dropout of contact lens wear. So these are certain uh, reasons where we can uh, say that uh, contact lens dropouts are there in market. And yes, it is not less, but 30%. So as you can uh, see the uh, like brochures or the uh, leaflets of various company, all are providing, providing all your disposables. It can be either monthly, it can be bi-weekly or daily disposables and all manufacturers are making dailies or your disposable a better or better and better. So because you are getting the best contact lens in disposables, so these will give you more comfortable, these will reduce your uh, complications, this will enhance your wearing time. So because the, the reason of uh, enhancing the wearing time can be like uh, they are trying to uh, match the TO film, they are trying to match your pH value of eye and uh, the optics of contact lens are actually enhancing every day. So because of all these reasons, the patients are least bothered of all the uh, uh, norms of hygiene uh, in this world and uh, they are less uh, interested in dryness or any other complications because of all these things. And definitely these patients will have a new lens every time they wear or when they change the lens, they will have a new lens every time or every day if it is dailies. So uh, these are the basic objectives. So as we uh, have discussed earlier, so the basic goal to encourage more and more contact lens penetration in market. So we can just direct, give them certain examples that contact lens is a better option than spectacles in many ways. They are actually free from all complications if they are compliant and if they uh, they use certain disposables or dailies. And you can wear a contact lens for more longer duration without removal. Like uh, a conventional can be worn for six to eight hours, but a dailies or with a good amount of decay or decay by T, a contact lens can be worn for more than 12 to 15 hours a day. So yes, we can encourage them by giving very simple uh, benefits, explaining them a very uh, simple or basic benefits. So why contact lenses? So these are uh, these things you can also explain to your customers as well as it is all for you also. So like we have all types of correction modalities in market. We can treat all refractive errors, spherical, torix, multifocals. All the contact lenses have a better uh, optics, so less distortions compared to your spectacles. Again, we can use 
our uh, contact lenses in terms of therapeutic options also. So we can think of therapeutic use also. So they can protect cornea, we can give it uh, for drug delivery and the recent trend is myopia control. So yes, we have a disposable, so daily disposables also in myopia control. So uh, again, some uh, patients also use the cosmetic contact lenses just to change their look or to have a natural look. So all these things will enhance the performance of patients daily activities. So let have, uh, let's see what uh, other benefits they will have. So while wearing contact lens, they, they will have a natural appearance in terms of spectacles. So they are quite good. They will have their natural eyes, which can be seen visible. They will be more confident in their movements. Like if they are a, a active uh, uh, lifestyle worker, or they are more of a sports person, so they will be more confident. There will be increase in the side vision. Again, there will be least amount of uh, change in image size in retina. So uh, relative and your normal, uh, like uh, uh, spectacle, uh, relative image magnification will be reduced. More comfortable for distance as well as for near work if you are giving uh, even multifocals. And uh, again, uh, they can also have uh, sunglasses over them. So it is like if some, some are asking, we, we are quite fond of sunglasses. So yes, along with contact lens, they can wear sunglasses. And in contact lens, there is no weather dependency. So there is no steam, uh, no fog, and no water droplets that are coming in front of the lenses. So what is the consumer demand? So as you all can see in COVID, we all are more conscious about health, especially hygiene we all are more concerned about even eyes. So in terms of contact lens, the consumer demands are convenience, health and hygiene of eye, the quality of lens as well as the eye and value of money as well. So today's consumer are more health conscious as I have said, they all want to be health conscious. All majority of them are health conscious like few of them are going to gyms and uh, yoga, classes to maintain their health. So what does health means to all the consumers? It's like in other sense, consumer describe healthier in terms of that a lens that will not cause any infection to the eye, better for you and better for your eye in, in terms like they are good for the patient and for the patient's eye, comfortable, which lubricate more and which are safer, optimal perfection, clean and pure every time they wear. Again, worry-free and infection-free. So this is a basic thing. Like they always have an intuition. They always uh, worry about all the infections due to contact lens. So yes, uh, if you uh, speak of health, so they always ask you whether the contact lens will give rise infection or not. So uh, they will always talk of healthy body, healthy vision and lifestyle. So their lifestyle should not be compromised with contact lenses. Again, less strain to the eye, less maintenance and less infection. So why maintenance? Because we don't have time. We don't have enough time to carry and maintain a contact lens in this busy schedules. So yes, these are certain points where we can talk of the uh, factors of health, which give the best uh, and uh, best results with, less, uh, with least problems and side effects. So in market, we have certain options. So the options can be we have the best designs and material, we can give the best DK, DK by T, we can give the best water content, we can give ionic and non-ionic material. Again, all types of parameters are available in market. You can have your high range of refractive power, you can have various base curves and total diameter, an optic zone, and you can have the replacement uh, frequency and modalities in market. So which are the modalities that you can see in market? So these modalities can be described as daily wear, like daily wear are, are the lenses which can be worn in waking hours. So uh, uh, the patient who have a very high refractive error, so they definitely wear a lens in waking hours. So it is mandatory for them to have certain modalities in waking hours, without it, they won't be able to see. So daily wears or, they, uh, or we can have flexi wears in market. So it can be worn in certain uh, sleeping hours not for more time, but yes, if they are having a nap, if they want to take a nap, so yes, they can wear for certain times, but the, the parameter should be specific for flexible wear also. 
again we can have an extended wear and continuous wear so your extended wear can be for six nights seven days or uh, continuous can be uh, you can uh, wear the lenses or you can extend them for more than one to two weeks but the thing is in recent scenario even in india because of the environmental conditions extended wear and continuous wear is the least advisable to the patients but yes we can dispense daily wear and flexible wear more to avoid all the complications related to contact lens wear so the replacement schedules which are available in markets can be your conventional which is an orthodox uh, replacement schedule and the most uh, trendy world is frequent replacement lens or the disposable lenses and yes the most or the best uh, option for in terms of contact lens are daily disposable lenses so let's have some facts related to conventional because as i have said it's an orthodox terminology they are not used in this uh, 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 era so uh, conventional like when you, when we talk of conventional lenses the life span is the major factor so uh, the physical and chemical properties make them think of whether we should use for more period or not so the thing is whether they can be used and used again and again or not so life span is a major factor the reason is the wear and tear so physical factors can give rise to the frictions and deposit and chemical factors like all your lens care products all your solutions your enzymatic tablets your reweighting drops are chemical factors which can again give rise to wear and tear of your conventional lenses so all these things will have an effect on surface quality so they will degrade every time you use and every time you clean with all your various lens care products so this is a major factor to think of so because of these you will see certain surface deposits over time so these surface deposits are like it can be defined as any surface coating which is not flushed or rinsed from a lens by tearing during blinking so it's uh, the definition was taken from the eye cycle and as soon as the lens is placed on the eye the depositing process initiates so because there are certain uh, 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 factors like tear films and environment uh, can play role in deposit formation so once you wear it uh, suddenly you will see that there is a formation of deposits in the contact lens so even the best lens care system cannot make the lens deposit free so th- certain times the patient say that i follow all your instruction instructions and i follow the cradle like clean rinse and disinfect lens every time then also why i see the deposit over time with use so because uh, they have certain limitations in wearing schedules so effects of deposits yes they are bad so what in terms of bad because these deposit will reduce the wetting uh, agents or the uh, the surface will be less wettable because of the deposits and they will also alter the parameters of contact lens and even they will alter the shape of contact lens again they will degrade the lens polymer or the structure or the or the matrix of uh, contact lens so in because of all these things you will see reduce in visual acuity more increase in irritation and discomfort and more chance of infections or complications like gpc or all your various complications like mk also so these all things will give rise to dropouts so what i was telling initially that uh, the stats are very scary 30% of patients are going in dropouts in recent scenario so these are the reasons of uh, uh, what we call dropouts so the sources can be either indigenous like your own tear films or it can be exogenous like your environments like pollutions cosmetics or your weather so if we talk of classifications and of indigenous factors like tear films so your protein your lipid and mucins play a major role so proteins if uh, like your dna uh, if you if it is natured also they will deposit but if it's and that is actually useful but if it is getting denatured it is dangerous for your contact lens and for your eye so if it's uh, like leap it then it occurs after 15 days of usage so now think uh, like like if we talk of uh, 15 days so we should think that uh, the lens is if you are giving for more than 15 days there will be a deposition of lipid so we should think of this point also and if uh, we are talking of mucin it occurs after one hour of contact lens wear 
So you can see that protein and mucin can uh, form uh, uh, instantly, while lipid can take some time. But see, all the uh, criteria are quite uh, scary for us. So we should think a lot of disposable consequences in term of uh, these conditions. So factors that influence depositions can be like uh, individual to individual. It can vary like certain tiers in certain patients can give rise to more protein depositions or like uh, certain contact lens material also play a major role. Like if they are ionic or if they are more uh, high water contents, they can give rise to uh, depositions or if you are using silicon hydrogels, they will leads to lipid deposition more. So these are also an influencing factors or if you are using certain lens care uh, system for certain uh, longer period of modalities or replacement schedule, Yes, they will also give rise to depositions and your uh, environmental factors, like if you are uh, 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 living in polluted uh, environment or more uh, uh, temp uh, uh, temperature environment. So yes, there will be an influence of depositions and the most important factor is the patient hygiene. So if you are uh, least hygienic, if you are not hygienic, so contact lens are a question mark for you, whether we should give or not. So because of all these, what complications you will see? So most commonly, it occurs in non-compliant patients. So if you are giving a conventional ones or if you are giving uh, disposables, which can be used for one month or for more uh, duration, and the patient is non-compliant, you will see a complication. So we should think of that before giving contact lens. Again, if we are giving all these uh, uh, replacement schedule, we should think of having follow-ups every particular interval. So practitioners should think this beforehand only and see the statistics. So after every six months of lens wear, 50% problems are occurred due to surface deposits. And this is again a major part to think of in terms of dropouts in market. So if you are giving a conventional and even if you are giving it for uh, six months or for uh, seven or eight months, uh, the ratio of dropouts will be more. Or your, uh, or your environmental factors. So these can give rise to GPC or giant papillary or CLPC uh, or clear like uh, acute red eye or peripheral also due to contact lens wear or the most serious one is microbial keratitis or like infiltrate keratitis which is asymptomatics or neovascularization in cornea or infiltrates in cornea. So these are certain complications due to your uh, unhygienic contact lens wear. So I think uh, these all points have uh, made uh, some uh, uh, a concept or made understood that why we should think a lot before dispensing your uh, orthodox contact lens replacement schedule. So what are the ways to eliminate the obstacles to your successful contact lens practice. So once we will go and practice after lockdown, which are the basic obstacles and how to eliminate them. So the most important thing that we should learn is replace the lens as often as possible. So the best way is frequent replacement schedule or FRP that you can plan or program to the patient. So disposable contact lens are a better option. So it is a solution for your uh, good health. So the advantage of having your frequent replacement, like if you are giving a conventional, so you can plan for them, like you can use it for six months or eight months. If you are giving a monthly disposable, you can plan for 20 days or 25 days. So you can plan all the things according to the patient's need and patient's ocular conditions. So what advantage you will see. So the patient will have a new surface every time they want a new lens and provide healthy, comfortable vision. So the best uh, concept that we can understand is shorter is a better. Shorter is bet, be, <clears throat> better option. So why disposable contact lenses? So the important thing is we need an healthy thing. So most healthiest option is disposable contact lenses. And again, the best is daily disposables. So this will increase comfort will reduce the complications and 
now the patient will ask why not conventional contact lenses and again you will ask me why not when you wear when you blink the contact lens again and again and these all uh, depositions will give rise to complications so your dropouts will increase because of conventional lenses so we should think of dispensing disposable contact lenses in our practice okay so yes obviously your landscape products will give rise to complications if you are using it more and more and the lens age itself so uh, the main thing is what is disposable contact lenses so as per oxford dictionary they are termed as they are designed to be thrown away after one use and not to be laundered or refilled but in contact lens field it is a concept so disposability is a concept not simply use and throw it's a period of disposability or a time frame which after which it may not be healthy to use for your eye so now we as in practitioners we as a contact lens practitioners or as a contactologist we can think of giving a suitable replacement schedule to our contact lens to a contact lens wearer according to their need according to their ocular conditions so uh, how to convert or what are the things or uh, uh, points we should render or uh, think of Uh, to convert a patient from this uh, uh, conventional to disposable so since many years in indian market this concept has jumped of converting patients from conventional to disposable yet practitioners approach to solve the problems needs to be modified and the reason why i have take i have taken or chosen this topic is because of this thing i want to modify your approach as a practitioner so you need to solve the problems you need to think out of your bucket and you need to modify all the conditions that you have right now again a patient's attitude will not change overnight so we have to be the catalyst among these two things as you have seen in covid 19 uh, patients are suffering from many things and though uh, our uh, honorable prime ministers or our honorable uh, chief ministers are telling and uh, instructing them for each and everything yet their attitude are not changing so how you can think of that they will change their attitude towards contact lens wear so we have to be the catalyst like uh, our honorable prime minister is the catalyst among covid and among our indian population so we have to be among that so in terms of uh, frequent replacement lenses or disposable lenses conventional lens required frequent change due to various reasons so now i will modify your uh, your concept so if you are giving conventional make of uh, a different modality or change the replacement schedule because the reasons can be uh, if you are giving one year contact lenses there is a chance that the patient will change with their refractive status so the yearly contact lens is of no use or there can be a wear and tear over time or these conventional lenses can give rise to allergies or because of uh, deposits there can be an ocular side effects so uh, this leads to frequent replacement of lenses with time factor as a common variable thus what is frequent replacement or disposable lenses so intended to be worn and disinfected on daily wear basis and replaced between one month and three month so this is what we call frequent replacement program or uh, uh, what we call the various replacement schedules okay so in terms of disposable what points we can consider like you can instruct the patients or you can keep in mind like disposables they have less or least side effects your disposable contact lenses for practitioners who have time for the patients to educate in terms of uh, your possible side effects due to uh, your conventional contact lens so for them it is a good option so if you have a good amount of time or chair time you can explain them or a patient who have a good financial uh, status for them your disposables or daily disposables are a better option but believe me financial status is just an excuse in this scenario because as you all can see we all have a uh, internet facility we we all have a good uh, 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 phones we have good facilities around us so if your patient or if you have an excuse of finance so it is the last option that the patient will say in terms of excuse so why should one switch to disposable contact lenses the first and foremost is for superior comfort obviously we want we all want a comfort so we all don't want to sit your in your 
uh, your uh, Maruti 800. We all want BMW. We all want Merc. We all want Marshall Lago. So we all want a good, uh, best, superior comfort. Obviously, in terms of contact lens, we want the best contact lens for comfort. Again, we want the best hygiene for our eye and for healthy eye. So we want the best material. We want the best disposability schedule. And again, for the greater co uh, convenience. So when we talk of all these things, the patient will have a crisp vision because of all these conditions. And they will be trouble-free uh, contact lens wearer. And they obviously will have a spare of contact lens availability at all time because all your disposables or your dailies come with uh, either uh, uh, six lenses box or 30 lenses box. Or even you can have a four lenses box in uh, your spare. So if a uh, single lens is uh, lost or torn away, you will have an uh, additional pair along with you. So your work will not get uh, hampered at that time. And uh, better value for money. So why better value for money? So if we talk of, like when we talk of conventional lenses, they need more and more money or uh, financial things in terms of lens care products. So they will, uh, they will have more and more of solutions. They will use more and more of rewaiting agents. They will use uh, more and more of enzymatic tablets so when we calculate all these things the the uh, aggregation or the addition of all this will be equal to your disposable contact lens so obviously it is better value for money so yes then also there are certain myths in markets regarding disposable so let's see which uh, myths we have as an eye care practitioners or as an optometrist so like uh, what i have a uh, 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 feel in uh, recent uh, of uh, 10 to 15 years of my uh, optometric career that uh, they always say that patient take trial and they will never come back. So I lose my time and my practice. So this is a myth. Okay. And daily disposables are expensive for my patient. So again, this is the biggest myth that we have in our mind. Disposables or dailies are not at all as expensive as we think of. Again, the patient will run away if I tell about my disposable contact lenses because uh, somewhere or they have an experience that if they have taken the contact lenses from some other opticians, they will say that my contact lens cost only so and so money and it will last for so many months. And if I talk of disposables and they, when they will uh, listen the, the the cost, they will run away. So that is all the myths. Again, a uh, contact lens prescription goes out of my clinic. Like if you give a, a, a disposable uh, with a certain uh, box. So if you give the box, the patient will take it afterward. They will take it either from the online uh, a portal or they will take that contact lens from another optician. So my prescription should not get out. So, uh, so the, the reason why I kept this point is because uh, certain opticians or optometrists or ophthalmologists, what they do is they use uh, conventional contact lenses, what is available in the uh, uh, your uh, glass bottles or in your single dose uh, uh, box. And they give it uh, by opening the contact lens and they give or they place it in your lens case and they give the contact lens without telling them what product they have given. So uh, even they will never say what prescription they have. So in this way, like they have the myths that, that in this way they can save their prescription going out of the clinic. But uh, uh, like we all believe in ethics, uh, in good ethical practice. So this is wrong. So this is all about myths. Again, uh, myths uh, related to the patients can be like for them also, they think that disposable contact lenses are very expensive. And as I have said earlier, it is not a such factor because your conventionals also need care and maintenance. So the cost is almost equivalent to your daily. So we can th uh, make them think all this thing. And they also have that because these are superior than conventional, they can sleep with daily disposables or with normal uh, disposable contact lenses or uh, because of uh, good features of disposable, there is no side effects. So these are myths. You, you cannot uh, sleep by wearing your disposable contact lens until and unless you or your practitioners have said that you can uh, sleep while wearing contact lens. And yes, disposables, even your daily disposable can sometimes give rise to certain side effects. So you have to explain all these things. Again, uh, 
the patient will feel that i can wear daily uh, sorry disposable still problem occur so yes because they have an old experience that they can wear the contact lens till they find some uh, problem in their eye so this is wrong so you should uh, see your contact lens wear before you find any problem in the eye and the last is not suitable for indian condition so this is a myth because uh, uh, according to indian condition what i believe is the best option is either disposables or daily disposables because we are least concerned about the uh, health and we are least concerned about the hygiene and that's why we, even we can see in a uh, recent scenario that the numbers of uh, uh, corona virus is increasing because we are less bothered about the uh, instructions that are uh, available in uh, market and we are not taking any care of anything so for indian conditions the best is disposables so let's talk of re replacement schedules so uh, like conventional contact lens we can give these conventional contact lens in various replacement schedules like you can give them for 3 to 6 month according to the patient need and according to the patient ocular condition so uh, if they are part time wearer or like uh, if they are using it for occasional purpose or sports person you can give a, a conventional contact lens for 3 to 6 month if they are not ready for Uh, uh daily disposables or biweekly or for monthly you can shift uh, conventional to 3 to 6 month according to the uh, present scenario but be careful all for all this thing and ask the patient for all the follow ups again if there are certain uh, uh, borderline dry eye so yes it is a debatable topic whether we should give uh, conventional short of contact lenses in borderline uh, uh, dry eye patients or we we can shift to various Uh, different modalities which are prevailing in market and uh, compliant to the lens care instruction so if uh, the patients are compliant to the lens lens care instruction then and then only we should think of giving your conventional contact lenses for more than 3 to 6 months or we should cease within 3 months if they are non compliant or else we have uh, uh, modalities or uh, replacement schedules available in markets like you can Uh, see in uh, your uh, catalogs of company we have biweekly and a monthly disposable so directly we can prescribe biweekly or uh, monthly disposable contact lenses so if they are full time or part time wearer for them it is a uh, good option again for uh, mild to moderate dry eye patients uh, who have this problem you can give these modalities again it is a debatable topic and those who are poor compliant for lens care as well as for lens care uh, regimen for them also Uh, you can think of giving biweekly or monthly disposable lenses but if they are least compliant we should always go for one day disposable contact lenses so it is for everyone i can say you can give one day disposable for each and every patient they who come into your clinic so uh, if you want the best product you can uh, convert the patient in one day disposables okay so uh, the question is frequent uh, replacement is good or not so it is not the best solutions for excellent health as i have said the best solution can be your daily disposable so yes there are certain drawbacks uh, of frequent replacement also so as i have said you should think first of all which patients are suitable for frequent replacement what frequent replacement should be given to that patient because it vary uh, or there is a variable between uh, uh, various individuals okay and if the patient are non compliant so uh, we should think of whether we should go for frequent replacement or not also so change contact lens at specific interval if uh, if you have a option of that also so yes there is a time of time for change so when and how do we decide to change the soft contact lens so like the question is if you are thinking of giving frequent replacement contact lens for one month so how will you decide so the Uh, uh the thing is we should not wait for any ocular problems to arise so the best is prevention is better than cure this is the best proverb we can think of uh, in this situation in this uh, uh condition when we are thinking of frequent replacement so if you are giving conventional don't think that uh, till the problem arise we can wear the contact lens or if you are giving one month disposable uh, you can wear it uh, till uh, you can see or if there is no eye problem you can wear the contact lens no if it is for one month you cannot wear a contact lens beyond one month or 30 days or either i can say or i can advise that you should cease the contact lens before one month also so it is a better option 
to cure all the problems so physical degradation of uh, land surface yes obviously you will always see a, a, a physical degradation every time you use and every uh, time you use your landscape products so follow ups are necessary even if you are going for one month or three month contact lens a replacement schedule so you should plan a specific time frame according to the patient need according to the patient ocular condition and according to its hygiene according to its environment where he lives so we have we are the one and we have to decide the time frame according all this criteria so my topic for today why i am forcing for uh, all these things is daily disposable so though we have all types of contact lens all types of contact lens modalities all types of contact lens replacement schedules then also we can see or we can face certain drawbacks because of them so these lists to encourage for the best replacement method in market that is daily disposable so how it is different from all your conventional and frequent replacement lenses so it is the safest and cleanest options no need to lens care uh, management no need to use any lens care products and it is the most hygienic form of all your lens care or uh, your lens care schedule most comfortable lens because every time every day you wear you wear a new lens okay so this will give rise to clear and hazel free vision because there will be least deposition or no deposition even after your 10 to 15 hours work because again next day you will wear a new lens so as i live in gujarat and i am guju we see that we are all fond of festivals like navratris navratris holi diwali so we all are the lovers of festival so yes we can understand that the patient is fond of what things so if like we can uh, understand by like if the patients want for occasional purpose yes daily disposable are a better option if they are uh, like uh, travelers who love traveling more and more often so they don't carry all the stuff of lens care products along with their uh, baggage so for them also daily disposables are a better options again for swimmers for all the active sports person contact lenses are a better options so the most important factor is time for all of us for all our patients and time is money so we can save the time uh, by reducing the uh, care and maintenance of your contact lens and just by dispensing your daily contact lens so yes they are convenient so it is the most comfortable in all uh, ways okay so yes your daily disposables are quite thinner than your uh, your monthlies or your uh, conventional lenses and you can have your uh, uh, your uh, daily disposables in various forms like you can have in hydrogels as well as you can have in uh, in silicon hydrogels so you can have a very high amount of oxygen permeability or transmissibility again your your disposables daily disposables are available with high water content so again this is a major uh, point to understand that your oxygen transmissibility will increase more so it is an healthy option so you can uh, you, you can prescribe it to your sports person no care and maintenance required no lens case is required no complications or very least complication ever you can see with daily disposables and i think you might not need any uh, reweighting uh, uh, what we call eye drops or solutions along with your daily disposables because uh, for one day at least they can keep the surface wettable and for the next day you will have a new contact lens so in present scenario like in covid or in after the covid is over uh, still wearers don't know what is the difference between disposable and daily disposable so as i have said we are the catalyst between the uh, the replacement schedule and the patients so we are the one who can explain them all these things why disposables or daily disposables are the better options and we are the one who can explain them that uh, disposables are different than daily disposables because uh, they have an old experience that a certain patient will say that your daily disposables can be used for more than one day 
or your disposable like bi weekly can be used for more than 15 days or your monthly disposables can be used for more than one month because certain opticians have told them so we are the one who can explain them guide them that what is the right thing so uh, because of all these things if the patient is non compliant you have to be very strict with them and you should uh, inform or you you can uh, like you can uh, clear all their uh queries or myths so if they have certain incomplete information you can help them in completing all the informations if they have some wrong instructions of uh, uh replacement that they were using so you can clear all this all that instructions and again uh, it is my humble request to all of you who are listening that uh, yes we we are the one or we have seen in our market that there are certain practitioners who play with the wearer's eye just to fill the pocket so the reason is because they don't want to uh, let the patient go out from their uh, optical counter or their eye clinic like because they think that your disposables are quite costlier so the patient will not take a disposables or daily disposables so what they do is they take uh, they term uh, one month disposable as three month disposable they term a uh, one day disposable as they can wear it for a uh, more than one day to seven days so that is wrong practice so it is unethical so we should never practice such wrong thing just to uh, full our pocket so as you can see who will suffer from this the patients and its i will the only one who will suffer so these will again give rise to the uh, dropout so uh, what we have seen in uh, recent year that the 30% dropout ratio is there so it will increase more and more beyond and uh, i think if this continue we will never dispense contact lens in future so just to stop all these things just to stop the dropouts just to stop the statistics or just to flatten the curve as what we all are doing like we are uh, flattening the curve of corona again i am trying to uh, uh, flatten the curve of dropout of contact lens by explaining you all these things so uh, it's in our hand we can change the present scenario so uh, in future means after when you are going to uh, uh, work in uh, after lockdown you can think all of these things because we will be the one who will decide which lens will be the best for our customers so again when we talk of in terms of online marketing in online there is no one to suggest which is a better option for them but as an i care uh, provider i care practitioners or contactologist we can explain them which is a better option according to their need and according to the requirement so how to counsel them or how to enhance their compliance so motivate them more and more again and again so explain them what is health what is hygiene and how to reduce the lens care uh, uh, system how, how to convert in unit dose so susceptibility like eye problems can occur with contact lens wear but compliance to professional recommendation minimize any risk so highlight specific risk factors relevant to individual so this is uh, relate to us like it is all up to us how we convince them in uh, uh, having the disposable contact lenses so how just don't afraid them of or don't uh, give them certain uh, fear factors like your contact lens can have uh, complications they will have a red eye so don't explain in such way you can indirectly explain them how to uh, wear a contact lens and how they can be more compliant so severity like communicate that vision loss is possible but very rare with your disposables or your daily disposables you can explain them benefits that good habit will give rise to good health and the barrier that yes we can uh, 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 seize all the barrier we can uh, uh, stop all the barriers by recommending a convenient routine to them uh, so the best uh, option can be your daily disposables uh, or the best convenient uh, for them for them for the routine is disport uh, daily disposable contact lenses so this will uh, remove all the barriers that they have in their uh, active lifestyle so there are certain tips for promoting compliances like keep a simple message don't make complicated okay stress the benefit more for single use daily wear only and reinforce the risk of incorrect lens use or overnight use or overwear use okay give verbal and written instructions of care and maintenance and how to customize into daily disposables because see what i am even uh, telling you you will forget after the end of the presentation so it is always necessary to have verbal as well as written instructions with them 
question the patient carefully at each after care visit and reinforce instruction again and again so ask them to come in follow ups and uh, check in each and every follow ups there uh, after care and reinforce again the all the instructions don't assume that if the wearers do uh, discard their lens daily they are full compliant so it is not always okay so beware that infection can and do occur with daily disposable also so if in a uh, case they find any complications or uh, side effects due to contact lens even with daily they should consult the eye care practitioner immediately again focus discussion on key modifiable behaviors most likely to reduce risk in this group so uh, you have to be more uh, specific with their behavior also demonstrate them how to clean the hands and how to clean the contact lens every time they insert or remove the contact lens if they are not daily disposables if they are going for disposable uh, modalities of bi weekly to monthly to three monthly okay make sure your supply and pricing policy encourage compliance so don't make them afraid by uh, giving higher prices or making a higher policies of uh, uh, disposable contact lenses ensure spectacle prescri prescription is current and dispense that only so you need to check the prescription again and again they visit your eye so wearer should follow the instructions of practitioners again ask the eye care practitioners for new lens in the market like as you can see in the recent scenario you will see a newer and newer contact lens every time so there is an evaluation every day so the the uh, the patient should always ask the practitioner if they are not asking you should be proactive in dispensing a better and better contact lens which is available in recent days and ask the lens which are the best for them so if they are not asking you should be the first person to explain them that this lens is better option for you immediately come to the practitioners if they have any problem due to contact lens wear yes if the patient is quite good compliant so uh, they will always come immediately if they have certain problems due to contact lens wear and never compromise in terms of comfort and quality so a good patient who is a good patient so a patient who never compromise in terms of comfort and quality so these all uh, uh, what we call the features should be there in the uh, wearers also and if they don't understand we are the first person to explain all these things so uh, in term promotional aspects when we uh, go, going to dispense the contact lens after the covid 19 is over there are certain Promotion, uh, promoting factors like advertising there are multiple factors uh, of uh, or various modalities of advertisement you can use posters you, you can use medias you can use your social medias you can use your normal messages your whatsapp groups you can use anything to promote your uh, contact lens your daily disposables your newer uh, policies your pricing so how to convince the patient yes educate again and again inform the patient again and again of your latest features available in your clinic by knowing the requirement need and schedule of each and every individual patient you have to design the criteria okay so we can try to convince our patients and make their life easier and easier with our disposable contact lenses so healthy practice what is healthy practice so A, a practitioner with good mindset, a personal touch. You are in the news in terms like you should continuously advertise the uh, best and best product that you have. So be in personal touch. Always give the greetings. I always give the greetings in anniversaries, in uh, in the occasions. Okay, so focus on patient satisfactions, not yours. So this is again a, a very important point. Don't be greedy in terms of pricing. so it is important that patient satisfaction is the primary goal of our uh, contact lens practice not our satisfaction so keep a track of big shoots rather than on your small shoots so always keep a watch on big players who are existing in market so like if we are a small uh, merchantile in the market and uh, Uh, we have a big shoots or big ty uh, business tycoons in market so we sh should have a big watch on them so don't uh, be uh, lazy in uh, thinking that uh, it's that i am selling my own products i am having my own pricing policies no always have 
uh, a good uh, watch on your big players have a good watch in multinational companies okay so pricing and offers you can modify according to the patient uh, yes you can decide the profit margin in terms like if you are uh, uh, giving a lesser amount of contact lens uh, price you can take the price in terms of consultations so you can uh, manipulate all the pricing and offers okay accordingly you can make your own profit margin and always have a newer and newer products available in your market because as you can see in online you have a uh, continuous updatation so if you are not giving the patient will take the new products from anywhere so this is an important point so customer service obviously it is the most important point in terms of contact lens in terms of spectacles also so again please your staff so uh, staff is again a major uh, portion or major part in our clinic you should always please them you should also upgrade them you should always make them the owner not the uh, employee of your clinic so if they feel these things they will always be proactive with the contact lens patients always have an appointment system with contact lens because yes they will take some chair time they will also uh, because uh, what we can say that uh, we will always explain them how to where how to take care of them how and we will also explain that all contact lens are not good which is better option so obviously all these things will take some chair time so always have a appointment system and always have appointment system when you are free okay like if sundays you are free if you are opening uh, the shop or your clinic in sundays for 2 to 3 hours so you can have that appointment at that time so prompt delivery okay so don't promise if you don't have a good source of products at that time so if you have a, a proper uh sources then only you can give a prompt delivery you can always give a seasonal greetings to the patients you can upgrade them by uh, giving the messages of your new products you can have a recreational facilities in your thing regarding your contact lenses and regular reminder so your regular reminders is actually is essential in terms of contact lens like your disposable contact lenses needs to be changed at a particular time so sometimes patient might forget when to change the contact lens so you can set the reminder for them so this will increase the loyalty of patients for you okay so because of all these things we can avoid the drop out so the main aim of today's presentation is how we can decrease the drop out ratio or how we can flatten the curve of drop out ratio in markets in terms of contact lens or how we can increase the penetration of contact lens so address discomfort issues of patients fitting to right patient if best contact lens for the for that patient we have to think of that make aware of various lens available in market like sometimes uh, we forget to explain a multifocal contact lens to pierce biopic patient we just give a normal uh, contact lens though the patient asks who is asking for a better option in this a condition so we should always make them aware that yes we have a certain good torics we have a good multifocals and we have a, a good range and we have a good high dk materials so grooming patients loyalty so by all these things we can groom the loyalty of patients again pricing is a major factor you can manipulate the price so it is not necessary you should uh, sell the contact lens on mrp you can take the consultation and you can decrease the pricing see the convenience of patient and yours and give the better services always okay so cost effectiveness so it is not a question right now so good health cost money that we all know excellent comfort cost money that we all know again all precious thing in life are always worth the expenses as we all know so we have only one life and one pair of eye so we should never think of cost or pricing in terms of i or in terms of our uh, life so yes now this is an old concept i think we all are least bothered of the cost nowadays but yes in interiors in uh, in uh, remote areas where we have a, a certain eye clinic the patient is always concerned of the pricing so you can uh, explain them in various way like Uh, uh like you can divide the pricing like if the costing of single one day contact lens is 100 rupees so you can say that you uh, you use a uh, you uh, you are addicted to certain uh, things like your con uh, your uh, cigarettes or tobacco or you are using or you are addicted to tea or coffee and you are taking it for more than 
uh, three to four times a day. So the cost of that is almost equivalent to your one day disposable or your disposable contact lens. So you divide, you can give examples of all these things and you can make them feel that yes, price is not a major concern in compared to your eyes or your life. Okay, so in uh, practice, we should target eco boomers and baby boomers. So this is a uh, target area where we, we we can think of increasing the penetration of contact lens. And yes, those who are having a old history of contact lens, you can upgrade them with with a better products. So let's have a summary of our today's presentations. So definitely the best options. for today scenario is daily disposable contact lenses or you can uh, shift to disposables okay and currently it should be advised to all contact lens wearer it means like uh, we, uh, we always have a, a query that uh, should we give a daily disposable to this patient or to this patient no daily disposables are for everyone so because we have wide var varieties of power we have wide varieties of uh, modalities we have uh, wide varieties of dk by t Uh, the cosmetic contact lenses are available you have your multifocal daily disposable you have your toric disposables multi, uh, daily disposable even for myopia control you have your daily disposable so there is uh, no uh, what we call uh, we have all sort of options in daily disposable also in market so people dropping out because of time discomfort and blurred vision so these uh, things we can uh, cut so like timing if it is a major issue for them daily disposable is the best option discomfort if it is that due to contact lens daily disposable is a better option and if you find a blurred vision due to contact lens depositions daily disposable is a better option so no need to clean and maintain the contact lens or if the patient is lazy for them daily disposable is the best option cuz patients need a contact lens that provide greater vision comfort whole day in this digital world and i as i have said earlier we all live in a digital world where we use more of our time in digital gadgets so as you can see as i have taken this uh, uh, statistics from one of the studies uh, from bosch and lom you can see that the contact lens patients this con continued due to digital gadgets was 11% in 2009 but the ratio is increasing as the year progresses so when you see 2020 the dropouts will be more or are more because of digital gadgets because these digital gadgets will give rise to dryness so we can uh, uh, avoid these uh, problems due to dryness by giving daily disposable contact lenses so all of us will like to use and dispense daily disposable lenses in our routine practice after the covid lockdown is over so for best result for happy and satisfied patient we can always think of giving disposables or the best option daily disposable to the patients so i think i have covered all the points which are necessary to penetrate to encroach more and more in contact lens in market so even if you have certain queries you can ask me directly or uh, i will be sharing the contact details to you if in case you have any problem you can ask me afterward also so for now thank you please be uh, safe and stay at home till the lockdown is over and after the lockdown you should always be proactive in dispensing your contact lens and always try to dispense your daily disposable more than your conventional and disposables so thank you for now if in case you have any query please you can ask me right now also thank you thank you sir that was a wonderful presentation and i'm sure like me that our audiences have also immensely enjoyed it uh, shall we move to the discussion sir yes sir please please proceed okay so uh, basically the first question that we received is what is the technical difference between daily disposable and other disposable format because a lot of um, the daily disposable and biweekly disposable have same uh, material basically with the same water content and similar dk by t so what is the thing that distinguishes uh, a daily disposable from biweekly and similar other modalities okay so as i have said earlier disposability is just a concept it is how you convert the patient or it is how you explain the patients according to their need and their uh, what we call their uh, uh, routine or lifestyle so it is not that 
that uh, the biweekly contact lens differ more than your daily disposables they are almost equal but the thing is when you talk in manufacturing sense yes daily disposables are quite good in terms of the sur uh, surface uh, effectiveness so your uh, surface are quite better than uh, 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 biweekly contact lenses but yes the surface will degrade quite soon again in daily disposable so your daily disposable will not work more for uh, 24 to 48 hours or for uh, 72 hours or for four days so if you are using a daily disposable more than one to two days you will feel a discomfort in contact lens while your bi-weekly contact lens are designed or manufactured in such a way your that the surface can rest for uh, 15 to 20 days but yes uh, in that bi-weekly contact lenses the surface are not that quite good to your daily disposables like the comfort is obviously best in daily disposables because they have a plasma treatment or oxidation over the uh, surface more uh, better than your bi-weekly or monthly disposable but yes uh, this is just a concept uh, it is just uh, what we call a disposability is a concept it is not that your uh, daily disposables cannot be worn for bi-weekly or your bi-weekly cannot be given for one day but the thing is the instruction that are given from the company we should follow that only okay any other question thank you yes sir. yes sir uh, we have other questions as well thank you for the answer to that similarly we have another question by mr sadab ahmed so why do we use hydrogel material more in one day disposable rather than silicon hydrogel is there any specific reason for that uh, actually see uh, like uh, there is no need to give uh, silicon hydrogels to certain patients though we have certain criteria like hydrogels are specific uh, for certain patients and silicon hydrogels are specifically given to certain patients but yes hydrogels because they have a high amount of water then your silicon hydrogels they are more comfortable to the patients and when we talk of daily disposable the first and foremost thing is the comfort they want the best comfort so because of high water content in hydrogel contact lenses they will always feel a good comfort and as you all know your silicon hydrogel will have a, a more stiffer material or what we call the terminology of your like uh, your rigidity or your uh, um, uh, like flexibility is quite less in silicon hydrogels than your uh, hydrogels so when we talk of daily disposable hydrogels to your daily disposable silicon hydrogels the comfort is actually greater in daily disposable hydrogel contact lenses than your silicon hydrogels so uh, if if again if you want if your patient want to take a nap or they want to sleep occasionally in that day. And if you are more concerned with the oxygen permeability, so you can give a silicon hydrogel uh, one day disposable contact lens to that patient. So it is all that what is the need or the condition of that patient. So you can dispense accordingly. But yes, in terms of comfort, uh, hydrogel are better option than silicon hydrogel because they have a higher water content. So it is more comfortable. It is more flexible actually. The tensile, okay, what okay. we call the tensile strength is quite uh, good in that and flexibility is quite good. That is the reason why we use hydrogel for the daily disposables. Yes? Yes. So, um, okay, thank you, sir, for the answer. Similarly, um, the other question that we have is, so daily disposables are meant to be used by one insertion followed by one removal or for one day uh, with uh, multiple insertion and removal? Uh, Actually, insertion for one day. I'm sorry. Uh, though uh, you will always see a you you can have a multiple insertion in one daily disposable because sometimes the patient wants to remove a contact lens in a specific one day period. So it is not that the patient should uh, remove the contact lens and throw away that contact lens and wear a new contact lens for one day disposable. But yes, we should explain the patient that if you are using or if you are removing the contact lens again and again in a, a specific one day, there will be a wear and tear and the comfort will be reducing uh, after you are removing and inserting the contact lens again and again for one day. So yes, if he is not removing at the, like if he is just removing the contact lens at the day, at end of the day, it is a best in terms of comfort. But yes, if he wants to remove the contact lens uh, again and again in a specific one day, he can remove it because like, like he is traveling by bike and he fall, he have a foreign body. 
into his eyes so he can remove the contact lens at the time and he can clean the eye and then again he can reinsert the contact lens at the time so it is not necessary you have to throw the contact lens and you have to when you have to wear the new contact lens at that time so no it is not that so you can reinsert the contact lens uh, in a single day also but don't reuse it af- after one day is over so we should always uh, like this can give a negative impact to the patient so we should be more strict to the patient that uh, if it is uh, one day is over don't use it for uh, more than 24 hours okay thank you for the answer sir um, previously in your answer you had mentioned that there is a specific indications for when the patient has to use hydrogel contact lenses and when the patient has to use silicon hydrogel silicon. am i right yes so uh, could you just uh, briefly elaborate on the indications there okay so like see uh, if you see that there are certain corneal hypoxic conditions or changes in the eye so uh, or if the patients have an uh, um, uh, what we call the routine which is not appropriate for the contact lens like he have an uh, nap over the time or he if he is having a, uh, a what we call sleeping in a day for more than 2 to 3 times so at that time when the eyes are closed there will be lack of oxygen so there can be an hypoxic conditions to the cornea and thus there will be an edematous changes so for them the silicon hydrogels are a good option because silicon hydrogels have a higher decay uh, value so this decay will increase the oxygen permeability and thus it will avoid the Uh, uh what we call the all your corneal changes related to the hypoxia so uh, yes your silicon will decrease some amount of comfort but yes in if you see the recent products catalog of uh, various company you will see that your silicon hydrogels are also having a good surface uh, quality so you will have a good comfort as that to your hydrogel but see if you are giving a hydrogel contact lens to the patient and if he is taking an irregular nap over a day so because of that nap because he is sleeping uh, in uneven uh, timing you will see that there is an hypoxic changes over the cornea so this will give rise to certain uh, problems like stiers and fold or uh, blurred vision because of contact lens wear so we should uh, advise rather than having uh, uh, wear of contact lens at uh, sleeping hours we should tell them that you should remove the contact lens before sleeping but if if he is not understanding that he should remove the contact lens before sleeping we should dispense a silicon hydrogel contact lens to that patient though okay. yes silicon if uh, like uh, as we all can uh, see that the recent uh, 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 criteria for silicon hydrogel is 125 uh, dk by t for what we call the extended wear or uh, like 35 for daily wear so we should maintain that criteria for all these conditions before dispensing contact lens Okay, thank you for the answer, sir. Uh, similarly, we have another question. So basically, uh, does uh, the does the patient uh, having higher prescription really affect on the options of wearing contact lenses? Like, do we uh, have to prescribe a certain specific type of contact lenses uh, in regard to the prescription, or does it not matter? Uh, actually, when you see the Indian markets, uh, obviously there are certain limitations in daily disposables. Like, if you want minus twenty adapters. it is not uh, available like uh, uh, it is available in disposables not but not in daily disposables but yes uh, like when you see the segment in market so 90 to 95% of uh, patients can come into your daily disposable uh, uh, range so uh, rather than giving conventional or uh, your normal disposables we can convert the that patients who are under our that segment we can convert them to your to our daily disposable segment yes there are certain limitations i i do admit that thing but uh, we have a very vast range of uh, daily disposables in market so first of all we should always be updated with the market we always uh, be uh, connected with the what we call the sales representatives and we always uh, uh, have the research uh, with us so after all that thing we can always uh, dispense the best Uh, material or best uh, modality to the patient according to its need so that is uh, the thing so uh, okay. basically the uh, it is because of the market's limitation that we're going for a certain kind of lenses for uh, patients with higher prescription is that it 
yes for for higher prescription you have a uh, limitations but yes you can think of many things like if you want to give daily disposables you can give over that you can give a spectacle the residual amount which is remaining you can give that also so you can have uh, various options also if you want to design your own uh, but i i don't think that uh, you will have a uh, major limitations in terms of higher prescriptions because i think uh, like 12 to uh, uh, like 12 adapter is available in your uh, uh, daily disposable uh, contact lens products so like if the patient is having 13 to 14 adapter in spectacle you can convert in by using botech distance calculation the the contact lens power 12 will be available to you so i think uh, the majority of contact lens patients can come in your that range so i think a higher prescription of uh, uh, 14 to 15 year spectacle uh, can come under that uh, segment of minus 12 adapter of uh, daily disposable so i think you can cover up your role 90 to 95% of segment so basically uh, it doesn't matter what modality they use am i right yes like yes they can yes, go yes. for monthly or daily according to their requirement yes. no like for monthly they have all options i am talking of daily disposables like daily. if you see a certain company because the thing is i am talking on national portal uh, i must not uh, reveal the name of companies but yes uh, like for example Uh, Cooper Vision Pro Clear, you will have plus twenty to minus twenty in monthly disposable. Okay, so yes, uh, like Cooper Vision and uh, Bosch and Lom, they also have uh, various products where you can have a higher range of uh, uh, prescriptions in uh, monthly disposables or biweekly disposables. But in terms of daily disposables, we do have certain limitations. But yes, you can overcome that. Like uh, if you are giving contact lens, you can give uh, spectacles over that. Like you can treat the residual amount of uh correction or like your uh, uh you can uh, like your uh, suppose your uh, cylindrical value is high and if you are going for toric trans uh, toric uh, um, uh, what we call toric contact lenses so you can uh, solve out the problem by like giving a uh, uh, spherical equivalent or you can have your uh, what we call you can add your spherical value slight higher than your a normal value like you can uh, manipulate to certain extent but you have to see that the best corrected uh, visual acuity of both eye should not degrade by 69 uh, if you are uh, going for daily disposables in higher prescription and if it is not available in the products uh, catalog so you should think all that thing and uh, uh, like in your if you are having a contact lens uh, clinic you should have all the catalog available uh, with you at that time so you can Uh, find the uh, company who is having or giving such high range so like uh, like there are certain local companies uh, i cannot uh, reveal the name of them but yes you can have a customized uh, disposable contact lens also in that uh, uh, high range also like you can have minus 6 um, adapter of astigmatism you can have more than 20 adapters of spherical values also in that so yes you can design uh, any uh, prescriptions if you are ordering or in making a customized contact lenses thank you for the answer sir uh, similarly we have another question e from evo technology so uh, they ask what is the time frame for doing follow up for the patient who wears daily disposable contact lens since it has less complications so what is the basic time uh, frame for uh, follow up see okay so like see first of all we should instruct each and every patient like if we are giving conventional disposables or daily disposables that if you find any amount, any uh, short of Uh, discomfort or redness you should directly consult the eye care practitioner at that time immediately but suppose if you are not facing any problem so for me like what i do or how i practices suppose i am giving a daily disposable one box or two box so i always uh, want my patient to come and ask a new box after that time is over like if it is a 15 day uh, contact lens or it is a one month contact lens like if you are giving a one box which have 30 lens or 15 pair so it will last for 15 days or if you are giving two box at a time so it will have a uh, 60 lens or 30 pairs so it will last for one month so you will always instruct the patient that you should come and ask me new box after one month or after 15 days so at that time you should check uh, like you should not take more chair time you should check all the things Uh, superficially and see whether there is any uh, uh, changes in the eye due to contact lens or not or if it is uh, uh, like you can also use a normal torch light also if you are not using slit lamp at that time 
so just check all the things whether it is normal or not and then uh, dispense the daily disposable contact lens don't give a bulk of box of daily disposable for 6 month or for year because the patient will not be in contact with you so that is the thing that we should uh, understand so make a shorter period of time for their interaction with you or else you can give your personal contact number or your clinic contact uh, number like if you if they find any ocular discomfort while wearing contact lens or due to contact lens they can immediately consult us even with daily disposable also though they have a very least amount of uh, ocular complications but if we find we can always uh, design our own uh, uh, what we call the schedule of a time frame Okay, thank you, sir. Thank you for the answer. Similarly, uh, Ms. Jainisha has another question. She wants to know about the availability of modality of the multifocal contact lenses, and which would uh, you recommend for the patients who want to go for multifocal contact lenses, daily disposable uh, or monthly disposable? See, as I as I have said, daily disposables are the best options. Uh, but the thing is, as you all can. Uh, find in the uh, product catalog that the pricing of uh, daily disposable multifocals are quite high, but you should also think that what is the profession of that patient? Like if they are in industry or if they are an actor or if they are an active sports person, for them uh, price is not an issue. So daily disposable multifocals are a better option because if we are not giving multifocals, they will use a progressive or a bifocal spectacle lens, which are short of age indicators. Or progressive lens will have certain drawbacks. So they don't want all such blemish or cosmetic uh, disturbance over their face. So for them, daily disposable multifocals are a best option. But suppose if uh, pricing is a matter or a concern for our patient, we should always go for. one month disposable multifocal contact lenses and believe me each and every company in india like bosch and lomb copa vision alcon and your uh, what we call johnson and johnson all are giving your multifocal disposable uh, one month disposable contact lenses thank you for okay. the answer sir similarly uh, mr karan patel has a question he wants a brief information about the newly innovated color contact lenses Uh, like uh, what sort of information you want like see you have uh, you can have all types of color co- uh, cosmetic contact lenses available in market like it is all dependent upon to company to company like you can have a one tone two tone three tone uh, sort of you can have a various types of scary contact lenses for specific like for uh, horror films you can have that cosmetics you can have a prosthetic cosmetic contact lenses for certain uh, ocular uh, disfigurement Uh, so uh, again you can have a, a cosmetic contact lens according to the manufacturing technique like you can have a, a sandwich technique you can have a dot matrix pattern techniques in uh, cosmetic so you can have all modalities you can have a daily disposables you can have a monthly disposables you can have a yearly or conventional or traditional uh, uh, replacement schedule in cosmetic contact lenses also so you can have each and everything but the thing is you you should be clear that which companies providing which type of cosmetic contact lenses like you can see that bosch and lomb have launched lessel uh, quite year ago so they have a good range of uh, cosmetic you can have a copa vision and uh, you can have a, like uh, jnj and your uh, alcon also with a wide range of uh, cosmetic uh, disposable contact lenses with again a quite uh, good range of uh, power uh, like they can have a, a good range of spherical uh power range even you can have some toric contact lens available in certain companies for uh cosmetic disposable uh, uh things okay thank so you what for actually he, uh, no but uh, can you ask him what actually he wants from a uh, cosmetic contact lens uh, yes, like mr you karan patel yes sir please continue like you can have each and everything available in cosmetic but yes uh, there are certain limitations of that also like in multifocals you won't be able to have uh cosmetic in india again like if you want a multifocal toric contact lens in india uh, uh again with cosmetic it is not available because multifocal torics are also not available in indian markets though they are available abroad so there are certain limitations but uh, see the thing is we should not uh, think of the limitations which are uh, prevalent in the market rather we should think what is available and how we can convert the patient into that so we have to think out of the box of all these things so because we have certain hindrance or limitation in, in our mind only we should uh, just uh, 
clear all that thing so like for example in a opd uh, 50 patients are coming in a uh, one day and we are uh, just giving one to two contact lens a day so we should convert more and more uh, contact lens patients so because we have a wide range of availability we have uh, spherical toric multifocal we have cosmetics we have dailies we have uh, one month bi weekly so we can give a specific product to that patient so it is all up to us that which product is suitable or best for that patient so we should learn how to convert a patient according to its need so it is a major thing that we should understand okay thank you for the answer sir that is the answer that mr karan patel was looking he was looking into the brief uh, information about the color, color daily disposable contact lenses so we wrapped up with our questions now um, so that was a wonderful presentation of course and on behalf of ibids and our audience would like to thank you sir for giving us your valuable time and the lovely experience and the knowledge that you have imparted on us today so i would just like to request you to just share a, a few words about your experience in ibids e learning session today um see actually what i believe is uh, in this uh, covid 19 where we are all locked down and see our mindset we all are actually bold with all our routines like uh, for how many time we can uh, use our netflix or uh, your web series is or uh, how much time we can work in uh, home the best thing that i bid have uh, taken the responsibility is to uh, enhance the knowledge of i care practitioners globally i can say because i think if it has been shared in youtube channel globally all can see all the lectures so uh, and again as an educator uh, uh, initially we were feeling that there is a limitations of teaching because if the colleges or schools are closed we cannot teach them but yes this digital uh, world has uh, have taught us that uh, we can even uh, uh, deliver our lectures uh, even if we are at home so ibid is a one platform where they have worked and uh, they have uh, uh, taken the responsibility to gather all the educators or all the uh, uh, what we call a good presenters and make a single portal where all uh, 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 national and international i care practitioners can uh, understand can uh, what we call can increase or can uh, encourage because of all these things and can enhance their knowledge when the lockdown will over and it is an joint effort of all of you like it is i i understand that it is a very tedious job when you are not getting any monetary or benefit uh, like financial benefits and when you are just working for people and uh, this is actually a very good uh, job that you are doing and please keep doing all these things and we all will always help you in all these good deeds so if you have any uh, like uh, if you want any help from our side from our educators or from fiacal please let us know we will definitely help you in terms of contact lens okay so again uh, i am actually uh, thankful uh, to you uh, and to the uh, ib team that you have given me an opportunity to put my word to uh, to explain you certain things and please pardon me if i was wrong somewhere because i have tried my level best to explain you all the things but even if you find something new or something wrong please pardon me for all the thing and i am thankful to you all one, uh, once again thank you everyone thank you so much for your kind words sir it was an indeed an honor to have you and we will take you up on the offer and we will ask for your help uh, if needed in the future as well thank you so much okay. and that brings us to the end of the session today i would also like to thank our audience uh, for being ever so supportive kind attentive as well as interactive and on that note i would like to end the meeting stay tuned for more sessions programs quizzes by ibids and for optum you can also visit us at www.foroptum dot com for more information and also stay connected with us on the social media thank you so much